of Ziba Khan. She says, Assalamu alaikum. How do we calculate zakat on 22 gold, 22 carat gold? First of all, Ziba, what are the conditions that we have to pay zakat over gold? Condition number one, it has to reach the threshold. Condition number two, a full lunar year must pass while it is in our possession. So condition two, I'm not going to talk about. We were assuming that you got it as a gift from your in-laws exactly one lunar year ago. Now we come to the threshold. What is the threshold? The threshold in or for gold is 85 grams of 24 karat gold. So if you have um, 84.5 grams of 24 karat gold, there is no zakat on it. Clear, clear. So what if, what if I have 18 karat of gold or 20 carats of gold or 22? What is the 18, 20, 22, 16? It means that there are grams in this one carat that are not made of gold. So the 22 carat gold has 22, for example, portions of real gold and two portions of copper to compensate. So it's not 24 carat. It is 22, 16, whatever. So if I have a 100 grams of 16 carat gold, do I have to give zakat or not? Well, first of all, we have to um, convert that into 24 um, carat of gold. So we go to the calculator. I have 100 grams of 16 carat. So the 100, I multiply it by 16 and I divide it by 24. How much gold do I have in this um, gold of mine? How many 24 carat? It has 66 grams of 24 carat of gold. There is no zakat. Wow, I didn't know that, Sheikh. So if I have a hundred grams of 22 carats of gold. Do I pay zakat for that? Multiply 100 by 22 divided by 24 and it gives you 91 grams of 24 carat gold. You have to pay zakat for that because it's over 85. How to calculate zakat? If you don't want to undergo this process, I have half a kilo, Sheikh. So it's definitely above 85 carat of uh, uh, 85 grams of 24 carat gold. Definitely half a kilo. You're talking about a lot of uh, uh, grams here. So I don't want to do the calculation. I know that it is above the threshold. How do I calculate zakat? Multiply by 2.5, divide by 100. And if you want to make it one single shot, just easily, whatever amount you have, divide that by 40. Usually what people say, do is they calculate the gold and they ask how much is the value of the gold and they're giving a certain amount of euros, dollars, whatever. And then they simply divide it by 40. The result would be the zakat amount. So if I have $80,000 of uh, uh, gold divided by 40, my result is 2,000. This is my zakat. 2,000 is to be given for zakat. Oh, that's simple. So if I have 40,000, 1,000 is your zakat. If I have 100,000, 2,500 is your zakat. And so on.